me tell you a story. 16 years ago, I met the smart, articulate wife of United States Marshal Glenn Cunningham. Now, for those of you who knew them in those days, she was his partner in every way. They truly made a dynamic duo. He became a mentor of mine and later the major of Jer mayor of Jersey City and a state senator. Glenn Cunningham was a great public servant, but I am sure he is bursting with pride from heaven as he watches his wife, my friend, Senator Sandy Cunningham. Together, we have crafted criminal justice reform, which got the only A rating in the nation, and that is becoming a role model for other states and has gotten broad approval from all of you. See, release from jail pending trial is now no longer based on how much money you have, but on the seriousness of the accusations against you and your own criminal record. No longer can a repeat violent offender be released and terrify his victims or his old neighborhood because he has millions of dollars in cash to post bail. By the same token, no longer must you stay in jail for minor offenses longer than you would have if you'd actually be convicted of the crime which you're accused of committing just because your family doesn't have $500 to post bail. And no longer can an employer make a job applicant with a criminal record check a box and end their chances of redemptive employment. Because together, we ban the box in New Jersey. Crimes of our youth can now be expunged in three years, adult crimes in six years, and many more crimes are eligible for life-changing expungement. County prison population is already down 17 percent, and two state prisons have been closed, saving countless millions for taxpayers. Now, with all this, violent crime in New Jersey is down 5.1 percent since we instituted the beginning of our reforms, and over 25 percent, violent crime is down 25 percent during the eight years of this administration. You see, being smart on crime has increased hope and second chances and decreased crime at the same time. So I want to thank Attorney General Chris Perino for his outstanding work on this issue. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Most of all, I want to thank my friend of 16 years, Sandy Cunningham. I'm going to embarrass you more, Sandy. Her heart and her willingness to work with me has changed hundreds of lives already and tens of thousands to come. And I'll say this to you, Sandy, I think pretty confidently, I think Glenn is proud of both of us today.